What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can increase the height of your Airtable forms that are embedded in your website or any other platform that you want to embed it in. So I hope this is helpful. If you found these videos helpful, go ahead and hit subscribe and hit the like button and continue watching. We'll get right into the video now. So to increase the length, I'll give you guys two options and I'll go through them in this video. So first, if you haven't embedded this on your site yet, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on your form, click share form, and then click embed this form on your site. And then it'll take you to a page similar to this. What you're gonna to wanna to do now is, eventually you're gonna to wanna to copy this embed code. And I'm gonna show you two different ways of doing it. The first way is to just auto size the height. So if I click that, you can see it changes that. And that will just automatically make your form the correct height based on how many questions you have, where the submit button's at, your title, your logo, etc. The other way you can do it is the way that I don't recommend, I would highly recommend you just toggle this on and then copy it, but you can copy this and then paste it on your, in your embed code in your website, on the back end of your website. And you can come in here and just change this from like 533 if you're having to scroll a lot. So if it's a lot, you can just come in here and say like, 800 or even like a thousand and what you'll be doing when you change that height is you'll you'll just be changing the how long it is on the page that way you won't have that scrolling so by doing that you should be able to copy and paste this into your website and have a longer form but again i highly recommend just coming in here clicking the auto size height and then pasting pasting this right here into your website and you should be good to go. So I hope that was helpful. And if you have any questions, throw them in the comments. And again, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button and keep watching for more Airtable tutorials.